This week may be the Democratic National Convention, but the Republicans noticed, and they're here in Charlotte, too. And they are making their presence known. What are they doing? Well, Griff Jenkins gets the inside scoop from RNC Chair Reince Priebus. Mr. Chairman, you got quite an operation here. What is this? This is a rapid response team that we have here uh, at the, uh, it's a NASCAR, next to the Hall of Fame, a NASCAR facility here. Uh, we have our full team here to tell the truth about where we're at in this economy, to tell the truth about Barack Obama, and also to tell the facts about Mitt Romney and what we're going to do differently in this country to get us back on track. And we're just blocks from the convention center. Is it your thought with such a big convention that even your team, which is pretty big but small compared to what's happening down the street, that you can actually beat them at this game. Well, we're doing it already. I mean, our rapid response is great. We've already done maybe about 15 interviews today. We just had about 50 reporters in the back room that we can give you a, a little tour of. This is what you need to do. We're fighting for the future of America. That means coming down to Charlotte as Republicans and going toe to toe with them. Let's take a look. Show right. me around, will you? Sounds good. Well, let's go. We did our press conference up here. Okay. Um, and um, this allows us to hold daily press conferences here with different surrogates. We just got done doing one. Had about 50 reporters here. And it, and it allows us to get in the stories. I mean, part of this is being accessible in person so that when reporters are writing their stories for the day, they think, okay, hang on a second. We got the Republicans right down the street. We're right on the perimeter here that can come by here. We can get easily in the story so that it, at the very least, that we can be in the narrative, and that's important. This is where we do our booking, surrogates, communications, research. It's all right here. Hi, guys. Hey, how are you? Is the boss working you hard? Oh, <laughs> wait. <laughs> There's a pause there. They're so tired. You're working around the clock. It's they been a long caffeine. couple weeks. All right, and then over here we do all of our all of our uh, more booking and surrogate work here to making sure that we're on every show, every paper, every publication has a response. Congressman, Congressman Chaffetz. Chaffetz. Checking out the team. Hey, all right, Jason. Some stupid somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> they got you working hard, Congressman? Yes. Yes. This, this is our comms team out here, just a crack team that's working all day and making sure that... Um, we're staying on message and we're monitoring what's going on out there. Now, are you uh, doing the Twitter, Facebook, Absolutely. keeping track? Is that uh, yep. how much of it? I guess folks. is multimedia. You know, there's a much a lot of talk about. You know, President Obama had such a then candidate Obama had a lot of success yeah. online and, and with the uh, new media. We're doing we're doing much better, and I think we're doing actually better than the Democrats are in, in the social media and the digital reach, uh, both through the Twitterverse and, and Facebook, but also just. Uh, our communications and our rapid response through the internet, through email, through all the different social media outlets that we have available to us. Um, and, and it's effective. And you know, you have to be able to reach multiple uh, audiences through different ways. I mean, even we've got a group of text messengers, people who text us, get our messaging through a text application. We do video texting, communication all day long. And a lot and of these folks a, here are doing that in our these managing guys, are operation. All comms folks working here. That's right. How, what has been the response from the Democrats to your operation? Are they ignoring you? Are they engaging you? Because this is not, I mean, this isn't just a couple of guys right. holding some signs, doing some bits. Right. I mean, you're actually doing, what, what's the response from them? Well, I, you know, they haven't really said a whole lot, although I'm sure us being this close to their operation with one of the best venues in all of Charlotte, taken over by the Republican National Committee, it's a pretty serious deal. Um, I, and so we're just trying to capitalize on the day, making sure that we're doing our job, making sure that we're communicating with the American people. Are you keeping some things for a surprise? I know you're releasing a oh, different we're gonna ad. Have a lot are there of secrets? Are they like Every day we're going to have a new video. Every day we're going to have a new ad. Every day we're going to have a new message. But ultimately, uh, this is going to come down to President Obama's promises, and what he delivered, and the fact that Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan can help save this country with setting goals, uh, meeting goals, and, and hitting the metrics that we need to hit in this country to get the job done.